guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome, Leo, to your April 2018 tarot reading. I hope you're doing well. Um, so, Leo, you are natural born leaders. You are creative. Um, you are inspiring. So, the truth card just jumped out of the deck. So, this, um, you know, the grand awakening card. Uh, Reevaluating uh, your past, you know, considering consequences, that kind of thing. Okay, so we're doing a twin flame reading. I'll pull the cards and I'll go through the positions. So this is John Holland Psychic Tarot. John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Very by Lenormand. So I've been using this for the crowning and the foundation uh, for the union energies. Okay. And Dorian Virtue for the near future. Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, we'll use that for the final outcome. And call it Baron Reed, Enchanted Map. So this will be for what each aspect is bringing into the union. And I'll use my deck for the heart-centered energy. And the Osho Zen for the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So let me also give my smaller decks here a little shuffle. Just adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, so let's begin with um, which e what is each aspect bringing into the union? Actually, we'll start with the overall energy first. Okay, so the overall energy for the month of April is going to be past lives. So this is the moon, um, the subconscious mind. It's also the shadow side. So let's read that. So it says, ooh. The child can become conscious only if his past life has been meditated enough, has created enough meditation energy to fight with the darkness that death brings. One sim simply is lost in an oblivion and then suddenly finds a new womb and forgets completely about the old body. There is a discontinuity. This darkness, this unconsciousness creates the discontinuity. The East has been working hard to penetrate these barriers and 10,000 years work has not been in vain. Everybody can penetrate to the past life 
or many past lives. But for you, but for that, you have to go deeper into your meditation for two reasons. Unless you go deeper, you cannot find the door to another life. Secondly, you have to be deeper in meditation because if you find the door of another life, a flood of events will come to mind. It is hard enough even to carry one life. So you're letting go of past lives. You are seeing how your behavior um, has been passed down from generation to generation. How, you know, even your thoughts may not be your own because um, you've been conditioned to think a certain way, to behave a certain way. So you are, there's this feeling of needing an answer. Just And remember how that card popped up at the beginning, searching for the truth of, of the matter. Okay, so let's begin. So in, um, what is the feminine bringing into the union? Talisman. So she's been on a journey. She's learned her mistakes. She, um, yeah, she knows that she's not going to make the same mistake again. But there's a sense that she's on a journey towards the masculine. This is energy she's bringing into union. Okay, so a lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success that you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you to recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you. For you have the wisdom to arrive at a right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. Okay, so the feminine aspect has been on this journey. And um, there's a sense of detachment from the outcome. She knows not to attach herself to, to the future or to the past. So what I see here is a state of being in the now. So let's pull um, three cards. So the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. So we got two air uh, cards here. Okay, so we got the Queen of Air and then the Nine of Air. So the Nine of Swords, um, it's just kind of showing to me how some of the feminine aspects have been caught in the mind. They've been worrying about something. They may be carrying guilt or fear as a result of something that took place in the past. So the nine is nearing the completion of that. So you've seen the mistakes that you made and you, do, you don't want to go back to that place again. So you've cut yourself off emotionally as, and you may be cutting yourself off uh, physically in the future. Hold on a minute. So there's something that you've been thinking about. The queen of swords is somebody who cuts that away. Okay, so she sees through bullshit. She knows her truth. There's no way to sway her. Um, this is also saying cutting words as well. So there's an emotional detachment, right? She's ruled by the mind, even though um, she has that um, green quality, which is emotions there. Now, the future position, we have the four of pentacles. So this is somebody being closed off. So this could be the masculine, but the talisman is all about the future, you know, walking this path. So you don't want to repeat the same mistakes. So you are, you have mental clarity about what happened in the past. Uh, so, you know, something inside of you is telling you to either close off or to open up, right? I see you being very closed off here in terms of the relationship. So we'll see what the rest of the reading says. I may pull a clarifier later for that, but we'll see. Okay, so what is the masculine side bringing in? Unexpected visitor. Hmm. So this again shows that he's been on a journey um, and he wants to make contact. Um, you know, we have a woman here looking through a door, right? So she's observing. She's unannounced. Okay, so let's read that.
So if you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. Detours, surprises, and paradigm shifts. Expect the unexpected. No matter how detailed your plans are and how clearly you believe the road ahead to be, there are always times when the best plans are, um, are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, detours may seem inconvenient, but a surprise turn of events signals the adventure of a lifetime is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicities, for fate or destiny to meet, except spirit who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy the exciting new adventures you weren't expecting. There is a plan for your life, but that may not match up with your agenda. So again, you know, recognizing the bumps on the road, right? Um, and traveling. The Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, nice. So we got the 10 reducing to a 1 and an ace over here, so there's an 11 here. Um, the 10 of Pentacles is having a long-term vision. So this is like retirement. It's being surrounded by your friends and family. You don't have to worry about money anymore. Feeling safe and protected. All about home and family. So, it's you know, we got this homey kind of energy being represented here. Um, he had this vision. He had this sense of 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 groundedness that came from a vision and in terms of the union he's opened the door um, and he's ready for anything uh, unexpected or not he's you know it's like he sees the future so the two swords present position is a crossroads right so he's on the verge of making a decision to you know either reach out or open up or whatever and we see that with the Ace of Swords in the future. Decision made. Victory card. Um, this could be communication as well. So again, a sense of, of cutting away barriers. Mirroring one another here. Okay, so what is in the present position for the feminine? Nine of Pentacles, well-deserved reward. So you feel very confident. You feel that you've put a lot of work um, into yourself, into your success in 3D reality. You are independent, strong, awesome. And you're looking after yourself. The Lover's Card, Hangman, nice. And the Knight of Wands, okay. So past position, true love. You met your twin flame, you felt this passion, um, you know, this desire within you to connect with your twin flame. Um, this idea, although not fully manifested yet, is driving you and will drive you in the future. But, however, in the present position, you are in a surrendered state. You are seeing uh, the world through a different perspective. So you're going through a transition. You're, you're considering, um, but it's also letting go of control as well. You have surrendered. You are using, like you are going within to seek answers. And, you know, again, there's a sense of strong stability uh, in knowing about this connection. That it will manifest. Um, so the Knight of Wands in the future is a movement forward, right? Your, this is your fire energy pursuing creative endeavors or creating a spiritual, or yeah, creating um, um, art, you know, inspiring others. But this is more of a directed energy towards a goal. So what you want is this lover's connection um, manifested fully. Um, but you are allowing things to play out as they should but in the future there's movement so this could be the masculine moving towards you while you're you're standing strong and confident and surrendering or vice versa that could be you moving forward so what is in the present position for the masculine is the wow the moon card confront so it's the same card as the overall energy there it's confronting your fears um, your shadow side. So the moon, um, 
you know, our, it could represent the subconscious, it is the subconscious mind, right? It's those whispers in the ear. Um, so it could be the ego. But it looks to me like he's trying to either overcome his fears or face his past, right? The overall energy is past lives. The universe, the page of swords, and the five of pentacles. So the universe past position, final piece of the puzzle has been placed. So he's completed a major um, journey, 20 years to a lifetime. And this is acknowledgement from the universe that he's um, conscious that he, not only that, that he is also creating or has created this reality that is um, more spiritually aligned. There's abundance that will be flowing into his life if it hasn't already. So even though he's still processing his shadow side, he, he has made some great strides, right? And this could just be him needing to use his intuition. Um, so the Page of Swords in the present position, this is communication. So a lot of air energy uh, in this reading. So he's he is starting to put things together. He, you know, the, this is thoughts in your mind all being um, ordered, right, and making decisions. The Five of Pentacles is in the future position. So this is kind of pointing to the moon. This is why he's he's in this contemplative energy because he needs to let go of something in, in the future. But he knows that if he doesn't let go of something or detach himself from something, that final piece will never fully be manifest. So there's, a, again, a mirroring here. So the future position is like a sacrifice. Um, needing to release yourself from a situation or just feeling left out in the cold. Um, but he has considered all the angles or is in the process of considering all the ang angles. There's mental clarity there. It's like, I know what I need to do, and then he does it. So we got a slight mirroring here with the Four of Pentacles in the future, the Five of Pentacles in the future, somebody being closed off, somebody detaching, um, but then movement forward. So let's see what else is going on. So what's coming in the past position, the Eight of Cups for the, the feminine, emotional withdrawal. So you are the one possibly that's disconnecting. Um, and it's just, you know, you, you are not being emotionally manipulated. You are meditating, right? And that's what the overall energy was. You, you know, answers come through meditation, seeking the truth, going within, listening to that inner voice. So this is the beginning of a spiritual journey. Wow, the Eight of Cups again. The Ego and Destiny. So... Eight of Cups twice, so moving on, emotional withdrawal, um, the ego showing its rearing its ugly face there in the present position. So you are tested. So this could be a codependent relationship, an addiction, self-limiting beliefs, right? So there was this monumental point where you said, okay, I've had enough, enough is enough. I'm cutting my losses and I'm moving on. And destiny came in with this beautiful karmic energy and said, you know, okay, yes, you made the right decision and because of that good luck and good fortune will come to you so it's a shift a change from darkness to light to um manifestation so what that decision paid off for you past position for the masculine the two of pentacles movement choices and decisions so there we go you know considering contemplating being at that crossroads, but the Ace of Swords is, is taking action. Okay, so the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Three of Swords, he's had his heart broken. That's where all this darkness is coming from. He doesn't want to be hurt again. But again, he cuts through that. The Five of Wands is overcoming challenges and obstacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles, again, let's go back to that. This is a seed being planted and it's taking root and it's changing the environment. It's making him feel unsteady, but it's also about making decisions, right? And we see that kind of reflected energy of this dome door 
he happens to be standing in front of the door that shines commitment there. Oh, I got a little tickle. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over my cold. So what's cool about this Two of Pentacles is that it grows into the Queen of Pentacles in the future. So the Five of Wands is overcoming challenges, obstacles, disagreeing with opinion. So, it's, you know, that energy is coming from the Three of Swords. I want a different life. You know, considering I want a different life with this person. Um, now, this is manifestation. Uh, again, very similar energy to the Nine of Pentacles, independence, not having to worry about money, that Ten of Pentacles, long-term vision. You can see that synchronicity there. So this is a mother. This is, you know, somebody who enjoys um, being outside. Mother, you know, Mother Nature, she is... Uh, she makes a beautiful home. Okay, so what is in the near future for the feminine? The moon. Wow, three times the moon. Very cool how we have a masculine being represented over here and a feminine over here. Okay, so the moon, it says... The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, fears, sorry, face your fears and grow stronger. So both aspects are engaging in this confrontational, facing your fears, your past. So cool. The Yang, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, nice. There you are, guys. The queen of no fucks given. Awesome. Okay, the yang, past position, divine masculine. You know, there's this confusion, darkness around what's going on. Uh, the yang energy is connected with the lover's card in the past. So um, I feel that you've gone within. You're using your intuition. You know what's right for you. The, he is your divine masculine. Now, the seven pentacles is the contemplation. So we can see that you know, energy of looking out, seeing where I've made my mistakes, where is my energy best placed, right? And then you're like, okay, no, I'm actually going to con you know, concentrate on myself. Um, I want to make a difference in the world. So from that darkness and through that contemplation power, right? I'm going to shine my light bright. And, you know, using the law of attraction, you're attracting the masculine into your life. Near future for the masculine decision. So release yourself from that which holds you back. I need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. There you go. Bam. Unnecessary worry. He's been thinking about stuff too much. He's afraid of being alone. That's what's kept him at the crossroads. He makes that decision and he's free like the birds. Knight of Cups. Nice. The King of Fire. And the Knight of Cup, or sorry, the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So we've got two Knights here, King of Fire in the center. So you masculines are stepping into this very powerful, controlled, loving space. The decision was based on love and what's best for you. So the Knight of Cups in the past position, this is moving forward towards love. Hold on. I'm just going to pause it. I'm sorry, I need to cough. And of course, I knocked the camera at the same time. Okay, so the, um, you are following your heart. This is wearing your heart on your sleeve and offering your love to somebody, desiring, longing to be with that person. You know, this decision requires you to become powerful, like the King of Wands. So this is somebody who's a leader, unchained, fire, energy all the way, like you Leos, right? So this decision not only gives you confidence, but power, you're... you're leading with your heart and so the knight of pentacles is actually a slowing down of momentum which is good because you want to get control of that fiery energy right this is changing the world the queen of fire uh, is more about wanting to be something um, wanting to leave her mark um, yeah so she wants to be noticed while well, the king has arrived at that this powerful place so the Knight of Pentacles, although it is moving forward, is very slow, calculated, which is what we want to see. We, we want to see commitment to that long-term Ten of Pentacles. And usually when that Knight shows up, it means he's almost 
at his destination. Okay, so the foundation we have. The moon again. Oh my freaking God. Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. So, what is that? One, two, three, four times so far. So one card each. The third eye chakra. And justice card. So, the third eye chakra, using your intuition to guide you. Okay, that theme um, is very strong in your reading. Facing your fears. So in the past, the feminine used her intuition to pull her out of that, that darkened state. Um, the masculine is bringing in the justice card. So this is all about karmic energy. What you put out, you get back. So, you know, and it's also about truth as well. So discovering a truth, knowing his truth, um, making decisions that will bring him the best outcome. But both looking up in the sky and seeing the moon. Right? Beautiful. Okay, so the heart. Oh, no, sorry. The crowning. The book. So this is like seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom. So... The feminine, there's a sense that she's earned her wisdom through lessons learned using her intuition. She knows not to be manipulated or make the same mistakes again. You know, we got the knight turning into the queen of fire, discovering your power. So there's still a sense that there's something you want to know, but you're, the feminine aspect isn't controlled by that. She's, you know unattaching on the masculine side he's ruled by pain of the past and he's letting that go and you know he's discovering those answers and it'll help him make a decision oh queen of pentacles cool and the magician okay so the magician is a very powerful card it's activation of the conscious so this is focus attention on manifesting your desires into reality wanting a new start wanting to create your reality Right, so as a crowning energy, this is what the masculine wants. He wants answers and he wants to step into this power, what she does. Crown chakra activation, wisdom attained. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is what the feminine's bringing in. So we got that same card coming in from the past. So, you know, you want that Nine of Pentacles manifested into the Ten. And the, the, the Queen accomplishes the Nine and Ten of Pentacles. So you want... Um, you've already attained this wisdom. You are feeling financially, you know, independent of the 3D reality, unattached from it. You've put, you're putting the past behind you and you either want to share your wisdom, share your seeds, your abundance to all, or... Um, I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. Why the Queen of Pentacles? This is, you know, what about the King of Pentacles? Where is he at? Oh, okay. Dead end. Um, dead end. With the Queen of Pentacles. Dead end. You don't want to make the same mistakes twice. You don't want to be dependent on anybody. We've got independence with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Fire. They're unchained. One more card. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm still getting over a cold. Talk to me. She wants to talk to him in the 3D reality. Um... being closed off. So this possibly could be the masculine. Well, he's, you know, you guys are both going through a dark period. Okay. Sorry, I got that tickle again. Just a minute. I'm so sorry. Okay, so heart-centered energy. Third eye chakra again. So at the heart of the, of the matter, there's this intuitive knowing that's why the moon keeps on showing up. 
seeking those answers and knowing, you know, having this deep knowing about this connection, right? And there are sacrifices, um, self-sacrifices that are necessary. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle. Okay, so one card for the feminine, chariot, and the masculine, temperance. Okay, so this is major stillness that I see here with the temperance card. Being in the now, having balance in all areas of your life. So in terms of this union at the heart of the matter, he feels intuitively connected to the feminine. This is also the two souls winding together in ultimate union. So there's that's you know, further emphasizes that intuitive, deep knowing in this connection. Now, the feminine is bringing the chariot, so this is taking control of your life, overcoming challenges and obstacles, not letting anything stop you. So there's this powerhouse of energy that's coming from the feminine side for sure. And it's like the masculine is just kind of timid. Do you know what I mean? But he's had his heart broken in the past, so be gentle. So the final outcome for the feminine, a leg up. So I think this is helping other people. But what I see here is like the mother bear protecting her cub. So let's read that. Okay, so leg up. Receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It is important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is the time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask them for, um, ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust. You will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind, though. Ask, and it is given. So reach, look, reaching out for help. Okay, so here we have that blockage with the Five of Pentacles. Feeling alone. Four of Pentacles is closed off. Strong sense of independence on the feminine side. You walked away from an emotional shit in the past, right? Maybe you were the one that hurt him. Maybe you did something, that ego came out. Um, but really, I feel that you're not manipulated by the ego at all. But maybe it's you are p putting forth this strong image that may make the masculine feel inferior. Right? This, the, this is an extroverted energy with the chariot. This is, you know, the queen of pentacles, queen of fire, like I said before, unattached. And so... The final outcome is for you to uh, to reach out, to help others, to ask for help. The Magician, Sacral Chakra, and the Six of Water. So the Magician passed position. Um, the Masculine got that in a crowning energy. So the Magician is activation of the Crown Chakra activation of focus, concentration, control in order to manifest. So there was a realization of your power, right? And your ability to help the world using your power, using your creative ideas. So the solar, or sorry, the sacral chakra in the present position, this is a blockage in your emotions. So I feel, remember we were sensing that blockage there of you cutting yourself off emotionally in the past, emotionally withdrawn. You're facing that blockage head on. Good for you guys. As the magician, I'm going to plow through this, this blockage. And when you do, the Six of Cups opens up. Six of Cups is a reunion. Somebody from the past coming back past coming back memories of love 
a return of a love reunion but it it it's all happens when you reach out when you unblock that emotional chakra right this is what how your relationships are with your fan your friends your family your worker and your lover okay so final outcome for the masculine is chaos and conflict of course that, but that's good. He, I feel that, you know, that it's that shift, that change, right? The two of pentacles. My reality needs to change, and he accepts that change fully, I feel. Okay, so chaos and conflict. Disarray, being at a cross purpose with another. The tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. So the meaning is stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? There's that emotional blockage again. Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before. For the storm will have passed, blazing a, a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. Okay, so moving through that chaos, that conflict, putting the past behind you, facing your fears. Right, and I feel he does it with that power as the... Um, King of Fire. Wow, the King of Cups. The Throat Chakra. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Awesome. So the King of Cups, he, he becomes emotionally balanced. This King is air and um, emotions balanced, but he leads with his heart. So I love to see that coming into this beautiful loving energy, pure love. And he speaks his truth, cuts through the chaos with his voice. And it's coming from a very loving space. It's like he's knocking on the door to his destiny with the Ten of Cups in the future, happily ever after, manifest. Oh my God, that's awesome. Completion. All right, so let me pull two cups from Miss and Mermaids, and I will read those to you as a final message from the universe. I might have to stop the video again. I'm so sorry. So let me pull the cards first, though. Okay, so the feminine mermaid picking lotus blossoms and the masculine. Nice. Mermaid with a golden dragon. Okay, one moment. Okay, sorry about that. So for the feminine... Dreams of purest perfection, power to exist in the light. Will I live in the world I imagine or dwell in my own endless night? Or is a sanctuary waiting to des destined to be my abode? Will I catch a wild fever of wanderlust and journey down curious roads? There's that journey again. No matter which path I will walk down, whatever I find I must pay. However pain my... Sorry, how, how much... Ha... Ah. <laughs> However much pain is required of me, my gods know that I'm on my way. Okay, so a lovely golden-haired mermaid sits upon, or s sits upright in a pond covered with lily pads. She thoughtfully seeks out and selects a lotus blossom. A contemplative look is on her face. She is on a quest of faith, a quest of spiritual nature. Yes, that's very strong. You are seeking spiritual perfection. You are surrounded by options, mental, material, emotional, and spiritual. Now's the time to focus your energies and select a path to search for spiritual perfection. Take your time and find the direction that is appropriate for you. Experiment with a new method of communing with nature or your higher power through yoga, meditation, there's that meditation word again, or religious study. Find a group who's seeking just as you are and who shares your ambitions. This is the time to move forward with an open mind and curious heart. Do not prejudge the path others are on. Attend a service with a family member, mem member or a friend of a different faith. Read spiritual texts that are unfamiliar to you and take the time to experiment. 
and walk into new territories. You never know where your new path will lead you. So you're seeking spiritual perfection. We can see that definitely. Um, but also use your intuition. You know which path is best for you, right? And so I, the path of not being so strong-headed, right? And being open to connections. So number three... Okay, so a golden beast did I spy. While swimming aimlessly, I ling by. What a treasure, what a prize to capture with my eager eyes. A pet to cherish, precious, bright, shining with such honey eyed light. Good luck, great fortune to adore. I'll guard my gold forevermore. A sweet young mermaid looks over her newfound treasure. A tiny baby dragon. His golden scales emit a radiance of wealth and prosperity as he nestles among the water lilies in the lake. So the meaning is look forward to prosperity. Good news. Your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay off. While it is exciting to contemplate your new success, it is important to keep your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility, and if you're not careful with your money, it may be gone soon. Do not give in to temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investment. Instead, remember your long-term goals and choose a path that is consistent with what you wish to accomplish in your life. Just the same, it's okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. Okay, so take a, a risk. There's a lot of stability here, and there's abundance coming to you, no doubt about it. Um, but don't make a mistake. Don't rush into something. Take it slow. You made your, your decision in the f near future, you, right? Um... And everything is going to work out beautifully. So intuitive knowing. Listen to your intuition, guys. It knows best. All right? And that's a strong theme to get through that moon energy. Let go of your past life. Let go of your fears. Let go of your thoughts and any kind of chains that are holding you back. And embrace love. All right, so I do hope this helps. I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers.